Hello you. The title of this video is not clickbait. I decided to finish the trip today. I really enjoyed that stay. It felt like staying in a, like a monastery or a convent and maybe that's what it was designed for because it looked like that inside. I really enjoyed it because it was very quiet, very peaceful. I didn't actually see anyone <laughs> while I was there. You, there's no check-in even. You, you put a code in the door and the key is in the door. So yeah, that's, I'm just realising that now. I didn't even meet anyone there. <laughs> Did that really happen? Here we go. All right. I could see up in the hill just here now this morning. There's a huge abbey on the hill and that must be Mount Melloray, which is the name of the pilgrim hotel that I was staying in last night. And that makes sense. I would say the students or whatever would have been staying where I was last night and they would have traveled up the hill to the abbey. But that's it. I think I'm in the Knockmeadon mountains and I'm headed today over those mountains in front of me and toward Clonmel. Head good, body good, feet good, mind good, all good. Let's go. The title of this video is not clickbait. I decided to finish the trip today and I had been thinking about this for the past four days and it had been building up a little bit so I, I was going home anyway, right? So I knew the trip was gonna end when I reached my front door in the middle of Ireland. But when I reached Dervila Murphy's home in Lismore, I knew the trip was over at that point. I just knew visiting Dervila Murphy her home, her graveside, it got me clear on a few things that I'd been thinking about for a while. And it left me with no doubt that the trip was was done. I'd had an amazing trip and it was time to end it. And I'd been saying this all along, I'll stop walking when I feel like it. And that was the moment I felt like it. However, I had to continue walking anyway, because you know I have to get home somehow. So I left there and I went up toward Kappa Quinn then the next day I went up to Clonmel and long story short, when I left Lismore I still said to myself, wait, just keep walking anyway, see what happens. But over the next two, three days walking, I knew, each day I knew, now the trips, I'm ready to stop. And the only reason I could come up with for continuing would be for people watching the videos, which is not being fair on me, right? Just doing it because that's what other people expect of me. So I battled, I had a tug of war with that thought for a while and then I kept coming back to the fact that now I've been saying this from the, the start, I'll stop walking when I feel like it and that was the moment I felt like it.
When I began my recent walk in Ireland, I had a very simple idea in mind. You might remember I stood in this very field and I said that I wanted to get back to feeling like the man I felt like two years ago before our world was turned upside down. And so I was going to go on a walk. I was going to walk out the front door with my backpack and tent. And the plan was to keep walking until hopefully at some point I felt as though I had achieved that ambition or that I was on that path. And so that's what I did. I kept walking and walking and I would only decide to stop when the time felt right. Unlike previous walks that I've taken, there would be no route or destination for this one. And those first few days of the trip, if you remember, I was very nervous and I felt as though I was more anxious than on any of my previous trips. I was aware also that this was trauma, the result I believe of a very disturbing couple of years that we've all experienced. And I think that this stuff, speaking of anxiety, depression, mental health or personal problems, is most often not given the respect or dedication it deserves in our day-to-day -day life, certainly. Like for instance, we'll sooner go to work than we will begin to fix our problems. And we will fall to pieces before we even try to make things better for ourselves. And I suppose you can lock all this stuff away in a room someplace, but then that door will always be there, forever waiting to be opened. I myself am a big believer in facing things head on and doing what I can with what I have wherever I am. And I suppose in some way this points to the fact that the lottery of birth decides where we all begin and what happens early on. But at some point you do realize then it's up to you. Then you get to decide. And aside from all that, I hope you just enjoyed this journey for what it was and for whatever reason you did. And at the end of it, I hope that in some way it translated through the videos from what I was doing and what I was saying, that we need each other. And at the end of it, like Ram Dass said, we're all just walking each other home.